Welcome back to the channel guys. It's another awesome day here and we're at this beautiful site, working pool side. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a sun shelter. As you can see, it's pretty sunny right now, so we need to get some shade in this area. So that's what we're going to be working today. So let's get started. The first step is to attach this plate to these uh, four pillars. That's going to allow us to anchor this to this concrete, which we're going to do at the very end, because um, I want to make sure that these uh, poles are pretty square before we anchor it. So the best way, to, best time to do it is like towards the end, I think. Okay, here's the drill. All right, it's getting really hot in the day, so I got my straw hat out. It's gonna cover me from the sun. So next step after putting the uh, pole plates is to connect, connect the cross members. So what we're doing is we're just using this plate to connect both of these together. So this goes in here, we line up all the screw holes, and then this side. Beetles. You see the beetles? Oh. Kill them. Why do you want to kill the beetles? Because they ruined the plant. piece is going on. Ooh, that looks nice. So one thing that's been a little challenging with this project is just flaring up this big frame because it's so massive. So I wish this was the second step after putting this uh, uh, entire thing up because this I think will help us square this entire frame up uh, and it will make it easier to put our small fittings on. So let's, let's install this now. perfect 90 degree angle so I wish this was one of the first steps after putting this up but so far not so bad I think once we get this up it should be easy to put all the fittings up
look at that. We have ourselves a roof. Yeah, well, partial roof. We still have to put the panels in. <laughs> important to protect yourself. All right, this is really frustrating because I'm at this step where you put the roof frame up and then there is this channel that goes around this like top cupola part. So I just fastened that. It was a very difficult to do because you're basically aligning multiple channels and then putting a cap and one screw that goes in here. So aligning all that is very, very challenging. So like now it's telling me that I need to put this roof on in order for me to put this roof channel on. I have to remove that. Like in this picture, that doesn't exist. So I try putting this P and P1 on this side it doesn't go, it does not work. Like, so I think I have to remove that channel and do it again. Now, this is step 14, okay? That was step 12. So why does this go before this? That's super frustrating. Here, and so we're going to use this to, to fasten this post. 